Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Left turn. Got a question here asked on LockerGnome.net, I believe, although it could have been asked in a comment thread on YouTube.com slash LockerGnome. Of course, it's also likely that the question was asked on Twitter if you included at Chris Perillo or at LockerGnome in the tweet. Either way, when he asked a question, how do I decrease a video file size? How do I decrease a video file size? Well, uh, essentially, you re-encode it. And what does that mean? That means that you take uh, that video and you process it again. You either keep it at the same resolution, but lower the bit rate and the quality, and that would, of course, lower the file size, or you decrease the resolution altogether. And so there are many ways that you can go about uh, shrinking a video, depending on how you need to shrink the video. Keep in mind, though, uh, that sometimes when you shrink the video, you're also potentially decreasing its quality, not just its file size. So be careful. Uh, you got to look at the originating profile for that video, like what kind of bit rate was the audio recorded in stereo or mono, uh, the resolution, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, so that you know if you are saving file size without losing information versus uh, reducing the file size and losing information. Got to really be careful. Uh, you know, in terms of uh, lowering uh, that video's file size, my favorite video encoder of all times, even though it's I know it's not perfect is MPEG Stream Clip. It's freeware uh, for either Windows or Mac OS X. It's what I have uh, used on uh, many of the videos that I've uploaded to YouTube to shrink the file size without really uh, damaging too much of the quality. Now, granted, it hasn't been perfect, but you know, if I can decrease that uh, the, the file size dramatically without really decreasing the visual or audio quality of the same file, I'm all for it. MPEG Stream Clip, and it can export into a, a variety of, of formats, including formats ready uh, for YouTube. But as I said, it is not perfect. It is free, and it is easy, 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 easy to use. There are many ways that you can go about shrinking a file, or I guess specifically a video file size, uh, you know, and here's the thing. That was my recommendation, it's what I've used. I'm interested in knowing what you have used and your recommendations for shrinking a video file size without necessarily decreasing its overall quality. Uh, feel free to leave a comment here in the video thread. You can email me, chris at perillo.com. Uh, you can post a follow-up response in the lockergnome.net thread or ask a question uh, altogether, a different question altogether there. Uh, you could also uh, start following me on Twitter. You can ask uh, you know, me somewhere on Twitter. Just include the at Chris Perillo or at lockergnome handle in there so that I know, uh, you know what you're saying and you're directing the question towards me. Uh, and then, of course, uh, you can join us uh, in the chat room. It's a, kind of a part of my blog at chris.perillo.com, lockergnome.com. Uh, we're geeking out. Uh, and even when I'm not in front of that live video feed, the chat room should be live. And you can watch my screensavers and ticks clocks and things that are on my desk that I need to unbox and share with the world. That video feed uh, with the chat room that's geeking out is on the web 24 hours a day, seven days a week at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.